This is the Music City seen on screen, and I'm your host, Dominic Demiola. And tonight we've got some blue and we got some grass, and you put it together, and that's bluegrass. And up on the stage is Johnny Campbell and the Bluegrass Drifters. Take it away. <laughs> number called Ashes of Love. And this next number is called Hard Time Sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. 
This next number here is called Heading West. Until the day There's no one to meet me in the morning There's nobody begging me to stay And by sundown tonight I'll be heading out of sight Long gone and nothing left to say Heading west Another town, another place Heading west With sunshine on my face Johnny and Whitney Campbell, I'm loving how y'all are playing that bluegrass over there. That's great. Thank you. and We enjoyed playing on your show. Yeah, well, to do is ask you about this. Uh, when did you start playing fiddle? Well, I started playing the fiddle when I, I guess I was about 10 or, or 12 or so. I originally first started playing the guitar. Uh, playing rhythm guitar for my older brother who already was playing fiddle <coughs> by the time I was born and um, so I was kind of like stuck on the guitar until I got a little older and um, and then I realized that my brother played the fiddle and, and my dad played the fiddle and my grandpa so then I, I started playing the mandolin and then switched to the fiddle when I was about 10 or 12 years old or so. Yeah. Well, so your family likes to play with strings, don't they? Yeah. Um, <laughs> as, as far back as I know, um, 
all my uh, my my dad and my grandpa and, and great grandpa they were all fiddlers. Well, that's you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. It's, it's good sound with good great sound with violin and fiddle music. Yeah, just trying to carry on the family tradition. That's keep on keep it going. Um, how about you? I mean, well, what got you into bluegrass and? My kid's going off to college, actually. <laughs> got my kid got me into bluegrass. I've been playing music my whole life, but on and off having young kids. And then when they moved away, I needed something to do. So I started actively playing more music. And I actually started out playing guitar also. And when we moved to Nashville, uh, Johnny met me in Santa Cruz, California, and at a bluegrass festival, of course, and moved me out here to Nashville. I started playing bass about a year ago, and never <laughs> looked back. I guess, it's, it's, it always seems like that. They always, the men always start the women off on the base. Uh, uh, you know, I guess, I guess it's because I, I guess they want to weigh them down. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it's really because. No, it's only, it's only a joke. It's just well, an inside joke. It's an inside joke. I'm just kidding, man. Well, the other inside joke is that the women want to watch their men when they're out picking around in, in the picking parties. Yeah. And, and so they, they keep their, their keep eyes their eye on their men by playing yeah. bass. Well, it's just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking, man. And that's, you know, it's just a good way to catch another joke. Learn something new every exactly. day. How about that? You know? And um, I guess that means you learn how to crack a joke every once ever, you know. And I guess find out that you have a an ability to crack a joke, <laughs> and then didn't even know that you was able to. Yeah. Well, but Johnny's, anyway. Johnny's actually been a sideman most of his life, so this is the first time that Johnny's been on the forefront of the band. And I have to say, he's doing a really good job being a front man. And it's a very different position being <coughs> on the side versus the front. Well, I tell you what, Johnny Campbell, if you would have been here tonight, I wouldn't have had a show. Well, thank because you. Because the other person canceled. Yeah. Because. Their fiddler quit. And, you know, you really don't have to have a fiddler. To be in a bluegrass band, if you're really true bluegrass band, and you start a show, and, 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 and you say you're gonna be at a show, yeah, and, and, your, and your fiddle player quits, yeah. You still gonna be at that show? Yeah. So, well. Well, there's a lot of fiddlers in this town. Well, I know that. Well, they they should have found a fiddler yeah. that night. They could have called me. me. I would have. I would have showed up. Well, you know, you did show up. Somebody did call you, Lonnie yes. Jones. Yeah, he did. And you know what? He called you because he thought that you'd probably be the best one for the show, and. I think you was. Well, thank I you. appreciate it. I mean, because as soon as I started coming in the door and hearing what was going on, I was I was thankful that I heard, you know, what was going on in the back. Yeah. Well, we've been getting real busy around town and uh, getting more and more attention, so we're excited to be here and spreading the good word of bluegrass. Yeah, we uh, we have several uh, local uh, weekly shows around town here <coughs> at different uh, venues, and um, uh, you can you can check us out on. Uh, we have websites and uh, Reverb Nation and all that the good stuff. Um, Johnny Campbell and Bluegrass Drifters um, getting uh, getting real busy all around town here. We're, we we have play a weekly gig at uh, Charlie Bob's restaurant over in East Nashville every Monday night so if you get a chance to uh, try to come out there and also uh, we're getting real busy at um, a little bar there at the Five Points area called Drifters Barbecue and they got a really nice outside patio there so um, if you get a chance to, to
to come out to the east side. We're getting real busy over there. Well, let me ask you this. Who were some of your main influences? When you well, I got, I got a lot of influences, um, but the biggest ones are the, the, the original bluegrassers, um, Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys and, and the Stanley Brothers. Kenny Baker. Kenny Baker and uh, Jimmy Martin and uh, Jim and Jesse. Um, a lot of good, a lot of good bluegrass out there. You just have to dig, dig them up. All right, Johnny and Whitney Campbell and the bluegrass stripper. Well, I just threw her in there because I mean, yes, you know, yeah, you know, she's. Makes, but <clears throat> I'm glad to have y'all here tonight. And thank you man, so much, Dominic. Thank you, Dominic. Please, please have us back again. Okay. This next number is called Head and West. You can find all our information, contact information, videos, song clips at our website www.thebluegrassdrifters.com. Yellow and old Each memory of you 
called Look Over Your Shoulder.